don't have to look far to find evidence of what's going on in this park. Right here in this baseball dugout, we found this syringe with a bent needle on it, and park users say it's like this every day. And you can see the walking across Clifford Park, Domingos de Rosa points to syringes and other drug paraphernalia. There's a bag that has heroin in it. And to the people hanging out along the park's fences. He's tripping right now. He's, he's, he's it's off of crystal meth. He's hallucinating. De Rosa is a community activist and a youth football coach. He says nearly every day he has to clean up this park and sometimes he confronts the drug users. Y'all can't just be sitting here doing what y'all doing. Have some respect for these kids. Are some of the people hanging out in this park the same people at Mass and Cass? Yeah, same exact people. A half mile away at the intersection of Mass Ave and Milnea Cass Boulevard, hundreds of people still line the sidewalk, many openly using drugs. We are looking to decentralize these services. And in May, Mayor Wu announced a plan to bus drug users to treatment centers in other parts of Boston. But neighbors and at least one city councilor say the problems at Mass and Cass have not gotten better and are starting to spread. Definitely spreading up to Andrew Station, you know, Ever Edward Everett Square. We're getting lots of concerns from neighborhoods a mile, two miles outside of Mass and Cass. There is a needle disposal box in Clifford Park, and the city says police regularly patrol here, and that crews pick up needles twice a day. But Domingos de Rosa worries that sooner or later someone will accidentally get pricked, injured, or infected. They need to treat this area just the same way they treat any other area in the city and give the services that we need. Councillor Erin Murphy is planning a community cleanup here this weekend, and she's asking the city council to hold a hearing about Clifford Park. In Roxbury, David Beanick, WCVB News Center 5.